Sorry, <laughs> I just, they'll oh, forget it. Let's just keep on, keep going. So, uh, what this is today, as you'll see from the title, it is to do with deer clubs. I get asked quite a lot about deer clubs, because in Vanilla Don't Starve, deer clubs is, is probably the, the worst thing in it. Uh, it used to, I mean, you used to get Krampus that were annoying, and of course Spider Queens and things, but, you know, when winter came in, besides winter that can kick your ass by freezing you to death, the other thing is, of course, deer clops. So I get asked a lot how to handle deer clops. Well, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do you two, maybe three videos, all to do with deer clops, because I want people to understand him and how to kill him. I get asked it a lot, so obviously it's quite important. And knowledge is power, so it's best to know what you're fighting. So I'm going to do, on this video, a kind of tale of the tape, uh, an explanation of what, makes deer clop tick deer clops tick and then on the next video i'm going to take you through some weapons that you can use the damage what what which are best really to fight him with uh just to give you an idea what weapons you might be looking out for and what you can use against him and then either at the end of the second of the video or in a third video i don't know yet i'm going to actually show you in my opinion the best way to kill deer clops now for me I like my way best because I only have to hit him about five or six times. I don't hardly have any sanity loss. And it's, uh, you know, I, I don't even, even usually need a log suit or anything. So I'll show you that at the end. And hopefully that will help. So first, let's get into a kind of a tale of the tape of deer clops. Now, his health is 2,000. So that is... Uh, of course, that's really high. It's, one that, it's going to be up there highest in the game, obviously. I know tree guards can have high high um, health like that. But yeah, 2,000 because, of course, he's one of the giants. And, of course, in Rain of Giants, he actually can freeze you as well. Don't think you can do it in the vanilla on this. I think it's just his normal attack. But yeah, 2,000. Now, the damage he does, he does 75 to players and 150 to mobs. Which is why he kills Beefalo so quickly, because he's hitting each one with 150. And Beefalo have got something like 400 hit points, something like that. So, like, what, three hits and he's dead. Whereas to you, he's hitting you with 75, which would be brought down a little, you know, brought down lower with a log suit and hat on and things like that. But still, it's it's a big damage thing when you only have, when you might only have, like, you know, 150 health. You know, just a couple of uh, bare hits and you're dead. And, um... His attack period is three, which means that's three seconds. Attack period is based on seconds. So every three seconds, he swings. So he'll hit you, then it'll be one, two, three, swing, one, two, three, swing, and it's like that over and over again. It's a kind of average speed. It's you know, it's, it's up there with things like tree guards again. They do that kind. I think spider queens do three seconds and things like that. Beefalo do four, which is why they're good to be bat to batter him to death. But I'm going off track. So yeah, his, att his, uh, his attack speed is three seconds. His walk and run speed is exactly the same. Of course, there's some monsters that have different walk and run. Like, for example, a, um, a werepig. You know, it, it walks, but then when it gets near an enemy, it bounds after them and turns into a run speed. So, you know, but Deerclops goes at the same pace. His walk and run speed is three. To give you an idea how fast that is, your run speed, your character's run speed, is six. So you're basically doing twice the speed of Deer Clops at running. So he isn't overly fast, and that is the good thing. Although some people will actually still create a walking cane so that for kiting him, you know, so you can move a bit quicker between the three second swing you've got, but we'll get to that. So yeah, your walk run speed is three. And the worst thing about him, and this beyond anything, is the worst thing about deer clubs. Okay, forget the 2000 health, forget the attack. That's not the problem. 
The main problem with Deoclops is the insanity drain. He has an aura around him that drains insanity. It drains 400 insanity per minute fighting you. And it drains 100 if you're just near him and he's not attacking you. He's not after you. If he's like attacking something else or fighting something else and you're close, then it's 100 per minute. But otherwise, he is draining 400 um, sanity, insanity off you per minute. Break that down. Uh, it's about 7, is it? It's something like seven sanity a, a second, something like that. Seven sixties, seven sixties are four hundred and twenty, aren't they? So it's just over. So it's four hundred and twenty because it's like um, seven sixties, you know, because you've got seven. Because I think it's seven points. So seven sixties, well, six six to thirty six, seven six to forty two. So it's it's like four hundred and twenty uh, if you do it by, by seven points, but it's. Do it over, it's safer. So it's basically taking seven points a second off you. Seven points of sanity a second off you while he's fighting with you. So that's a lot to lose. Especially when you've got to remember, if he get, if you get down to zero or below a certain level, then you get the um, the nightmare kind of monsters, the insanity monsters come after you. And they're like add-ons. They just appear and start attacking you too. And they can hit pretty hard so with them and deer clubs it soon gets really bad so it's insanity drain is by far his his worst weapon uh now the way to combat this of course is to carry things like um taffy taffy is good if you can get a if you can get a bee boxer set up and you can get plenty of honey four four honey in a crock pot make a taffy and a taffy gives you 15 insanity back if you carry a stack of them you can be fighting him when you see the monster starting to form together to come and attack you run away from him drop down some taffy and get your insanity back over and they'll disappear again and then you can carry on with the fight you're going to need quite a few because he does drain you very fast and every two seconds he's already negated one of your taffies because that's about 14 so you're going to need a lot of them but uh, it's, it, it is a, a, an effective way. Another way you can use is to use um, jerky, the small jerky, you know, that you can get from just doing rabbits. You know, they're, they're good too. Um, all these kind of things to give you a little bit of a sanity boost. They're good to use. Uh, but remember, probably best to have a couple of healing pots as well, healing potions, because you're going to, as you eat taffy, it does a little bit of health loss to you. So you're going to need to negate that. And also any damage that, be, that deer clops does. So if you've got some taffy and some health potions and some, you know, health potions type things, you, you should be fine to just really get in at him and give him a good battering. Uh, you, I suppose you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, but it's going to be pretty hard. Depends on the weapon you use. And like I say, we'll use, we'll cover weapons in the next episode. So, um, that's basically all I wanted to let you to tell you in this episode. I just wanted you to know what you were fighting. So it's two. We're going to run through it one more time. Two thousand health, with seventy-five damage to players every attack, one hundred and fifty to mobs to other mobs. His attack period is three seconds. Every three seconds, so that means yeah, he swings. You've got to get in, whack, whack, and however many times you feel comfortable. Some people have been known to hit him four times and then switch to walking canes and run out of, of his of his range. Because with a walking cane, of course, a walking cane increases your speed. So, um, you know, if you've got that to equip, you can afford to hit him four times and just barely make it out. But, uh, you know, probably three is a nice, is, is a lot easier. You know, for, for newer players, I'd say one or two. But for somebody like me, who I just classed as like a more advanced player, I just go in, hit three, get out, go in, hit three, get out. But your aura is still always going down. And weapon-wise, the spear is not the best weapon to use. It's the easiest weapon to use because you can make it very easy. But it's not the best weapon to use because its attack is not amazing. But as I said, we'll cover weapons in the next video. But for now, yeah, you want to... So you want to get kind of like into a rhythm. Don't let it be guesswork. Get into a rhythm. In, he swings, you just get out, then you kind of curl back in, hit, 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 and move out, curl back in, hit, 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 and just keep repeating that, but keep your, your eyes 
keep an eye on your sanity level because once it goes below a certain level and the and the insan and them insanity monsters start coming in, last thing you need is that. And trust me, insanity is not good. So we are going to leave it there. In the next, keep an eye out for the next episode. The next episode, we're going to talk about weapons, we best weapons to use, both uh, melee weapons and ranged. And we'll go through a few. I'll even put a deer clops on, and we'll um, have a go at him and kill and try and kill him with a few and see what it looks like. So that episode will be actually longer because we'll be uh, testing out some weapons on him. And then, as I said in the third episode, I will show you my way, and my way of doing it is so easy it is really easy if you can if you can just get it set up it is really really easy and it will kill him without you having to worry your pretty little heads about anything okay so we'll get to that okay so thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon and uh yeah we'll kill him we'll, i think we'll get next video out tomorrow or day after depending on something that's coming up in my life uh so if it's not if it doesn't happen tomorrow then i'll get another video out for you tomorrow and we'll uh, we'll do it then so you take care thanks for watching bye for now